I'm sorry, I'm trying to get going, but the internet's not cooperating. That was Huff with two outs. The first two pitches were outs. A pop out to first and a ground out to third. And then Huff singled up the middle, so we have two outs. First pitch misses for a ball from Michaela Jonico. It's 1-0. I'm trying to get a hot spot. If I is not doing it for me today. 2-0. Batter is the. Nathan Martinez hitting 286, four doubles, 11 RBIs. On top here. Michaela Jonico is six and seven on the season. This is her 13th start. Naranjo. Setting fifth. Left field, number four. Peyton Naranjo hitting 400. Naranjo. 24 for 60 with four doubles, 10 RBIs. First pitch misses, 1 0. Michaela Jonico is 6 and 7 with a 191 ERA. 84 in a third innings. Seventy-four hits, eighty-seven strikeouts. Opponents hitting two thirty-one. Man, two pitches, two outs, and now the bases loaded, two outs. Batting six, right field number eight, Crystal Warren. to Warren. This game is moving too quickly for me. Slashed foul and out of play. 0-2. Crystal Warren hitting 345. No extra base hits. Six RBIs. The Statesmen are 13 and 17 overall. Two and four in the heart. Nice catch from Robin Todd. I'll show it to you in a second. Pin in the top of the first. No runs, two hits, no errors, three runners left. And after one coming to bat. Here it is again from camera two. If she misses it completely, it's probably foul, but if she touches it there and then it bounces away, that's a couple of runs. Let's see if camera three got it. I highly doubt it. Top bottom. Yes. Battery for the statesman in game one. Catching number six, Zoe Jones in the circle. Pitching number 25, Emily Bryant. Leading off the bottom of the first for the Pioneers. Center field, number 19. Cordelia, Cordelia Hanger Cordelia. leads off the bottom of the first. Hitting 350. Squares to bunt, fouls it off. No one won. Hanger has two doubles, eight RBIs. Actually got caught stealing the other day at Benedictine, but didn't actually 
get beat, she just overslid the bag. Emily Bryant is the pitcher. She's one and six. This is her tenth start. A five six zero ERA, forty innings. Forty innings, sixty one hits, twelve strikeouts, and opponents hitting three forty one against her. Absolutely perfect day here in Olathe. Wind blowing out. And slashed into left field, and that's down for a hit. Yeah, we're going to have to fix this camera. I don't like it focusing on the net, of course. Batting second, left field, number 24, Maddie Brooks. Maddie Brooks. Hitting 400, she's 10 for 25, no extra base hits, one RBI. She's been in the nine hole lately, finds herself in the two hole today. Hanger, steals second. I think so. Ball one, stolen base. Grounded back to the circle, knocked to second base. And I, I am going to look at it again. Usually comebackers are, are hits, but this was pretty weakly hit. Batting third, right field, number one, Naya Brown. E1. Grounded to second. They're going to try to come home to get Hanger. No chance. And the Pioneers lead one to nothing. Batting fourth, second base, number 20, Kelly Stokes. Kelly Stokes now. Stokes leading the team with a 351 average. Thank you. After this half inning, we will, I'm going to cut out and I'll come right back as I switch to the hot spot. Should be a more consistent stream for you. Stokes swinging at everything. I don't think she's seen a strike yet, but it's one and two. The one, two. Swing and a miss.
Batting fifth, first base, number 22, Abby Schulte. Abby Schulte hitting 330, 11 doubles. That leads the team by more than double. <laughs> Four homers, that leads the team. 20 RBIs tied with Stokes for the team lead. Grounded to first. And nobody moves up. Batting six, third base number 10, Robin Todd. Robin Todd now with two on and two out. First pitch misses away for a ball. It's 1 0. Robin Todd hitting 243. Three doubles, a homer, 14 RBI. Number 25. Allie Van Lanker. Now Allie Van Lanker. Getting 295, grounded to third. Leading off the top of the second for the Statesman and batting seventh. First base, number 12, Alex Price. Called strike one to Price. What, what was that pitch? A ball, apparently. I am struggling. That's into right center field. Hanger on the run. It makes a diving catch. What a play by Cordelia Hanger. Great jump, great read. Let's see if camera three got it. Not really. Camera two did, though. Catcher number six, Zoe Jones. Give me a chance to replay this. Dang it. Did someone just die? What the heck was that? Someone bumped into the donkey. And... I might have it on replay. I want to see. I want to check if it happened. Yeah. What? The, what was that? Somebody fell into it. Oh. You good? <laughs> this is not a very forgiving piece of equipment we're sitting on here. All right, three balls, two strikes. I'm sorry, there's one out. Batting night, third stop, number three, Charlie Yagushis. Gigushis? That's a fun name. She's from my high school. DT's high school. Heads up, everybody. Okay, for those from the north, I will rephrase this. She and I attended the same high school. Oh, okay. My high school. Name of high school is my high school. That'd be a weird name for me. 
Read it. <laughs> See if she wants some. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. Charlie Gagushis hitting 262, no extra base hits, five RBIs. Slapped into left field. Maddie Brooks is there. All right, Bats, break it up again. Let's go. Don't be there, Bats. Here we go. With a statement in the top of the second, no runs, no hits, no errors, and after one and a half innings, Pioneers lead two to zero. Emma Jones leads off. Fouled away, two and two. camera three squared away. It won't focus on the net anymore. Des Duncan bunts foul. All right, if you're watching on the Heart Network, go ahead and switch back over to YouTube. Tell me where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. And how's your bracket? Slash down the line, that's down. The diving left fielder couldn't come up with it. Des Duncan headed towards second. And it's a one out double. Center field, number 19, Cordelia Hanger. Times it just 
Cordelia Hanger is one for one. She singled and scored in the first. I thought he called that a straight. Three and zero. I do not understand how somebody fell into the donkey. Bunning on three and zero. Three one hanger. It's this bunt down. Never gonna get her. reached on an error and I think she scored in the first. Hanger goes and they throw. Interesting. Keep that. I'm going to show that to you again from camera one. Catcher just caught this bunt. Bloop. Bloop. Field number one, Naya Brown. Yeah. Up the middle. Out at first. Here, hold that. Third base, number 18, Layla Smith. Layla Smith leads off the top of the third. One and one. Pioneer baseball team's playing a huge series at Central Methodist. They split a doubleheader yesterday, and they're tied early in this one today.
Popped up. Center field number one, Abby Wilson. <clears throat> Abby Wilson, the two-hole. Hitting 322, a double, a triple, five RBIs, take strike one. It's the bunt down. Jonico goes to first, but I think she beats that anyway. Yeah, I think that's a single. Hey, shake it off. Let's get out. player, number 10, Chelsea Huff. Chelsea Huff hitting 338, six doubles, a triple, two homers. Take strike one. This is just chaos. It just moves so quickly. Give me, let me take a breath for a second. Into right field. That's a hit. Unless they throw to first. Had a chance at first, I think, more than second. Bases loaded, nobody out. Second base, number seven, Nayeli Martinez. Nayeli Martinez hitting 286, four doubles, 11 homers. 11 RBIs, I should say. That's a little... Is Layla Smith in this lineup? Did I miss that? Into left center field and deep. Back to the wall up against the fence. Here comes one run. Here comes two. Throw to third. Got her. A big first out. Naranjo, the five hole. Crystal Warren, the six hole. Takes a strike. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Wow. Nobody even checked it. One on one. Oh, 
I got a replay right here, a perfect view of it. Let's have a look in a second. As we pitch every five seconds around here. Follow away. Okay, here we go. Is this a swing? Uh, Fell away. <laughs> Tapped back to the circle. Bobbled. He called her out. First base, number 12, Alex Price. Alex Price. This is a big moment in this game. Two runners in scoring position. Tied at two top three. Nice catch from Van Linker. Nice play. Swing strike two. And then she's out advancing to one. For William Penn in the top of the third, two runs and four hits. No errors, one runner left. And after two and a half innings, Statesman two, Pioneers two. For the Pioneers, second base, number 20, Kelly Stokes. Kelly Stokes is about to drop a bomb here. Called strike one. After a frustrating first at bat, I think she's going to lock in here and touch one off into the wind. Grounded, deep short, base hit. Just follow the batter ellipses. First base number 22, Abby Schulte. Abby Schulte. I'm done with these things. I, I don't understand it. We can have no control over these iPads.
2 and 0. They have a mind of their own. They just start playing music during the middle of pitches and blasts the speakers out. This walk-up song works every time. Robin Todd. With Stokes at first and one out. In the dirt, one and oh. I've got that one call at first ready for replay as soon as, I don't know, the only time there's time to do anything is between innings. Grounded up the middle. Four, six, three. For the Pioneers in the bottom of the third, no runs, one hit, no errors. No runners left, and after three complete innings, we're tied at two. All right, was she really out on this play? Maybe. Statesman, catcher number six, Zoe Jones. Hey, DT, what, what, what did you just call? This isn't right. What? Who'd you call at the plate? That's Price. Because there was a, there was an out at the plate. She was she was batting at the end of the last. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Uh, two balls, one strike. Correction. Now batting. First base number twelve. Alex Price. Full count. Into left center field. That's down. Hanger cuts it off to prevent a double, but another leadoff 
base runner for the Statesman. Now batting catcher number six, Zoe Jones. Two running at first. That running is at first base for the state Wren. number two, Bailey Wren. Bailey Wren. See anybody in the chat? Nope. I don't blame you. Jonico makes the out one four on the sacrifice. Running in scoring position for short stop number three, Charlie Gagushis. Gagushis. Little tapper to third. Got it. Runner moves up. Third base number 18, Layla Smith. Now the leadoff batter, Smith. And that ball got away from Jonico somehow. Right, here we go. Oh, she just took her eye off it. Into right field and deep. Naya Brown got turned all sorts of ways. She is headed to third for a two-out RBI triple. Wind blowing out to right. That ball ended up about the warning track. I don't think Naya Brown ever had a chance at it, but. Now you can do it now. So go um, visitor runs to enter, I think. Can you go minus runs? There you go. Now inning four, enter. Strike two. One and two on Wilson, the two hole. Up, fouling out of play. Two and two. MNU baseball is tied at two in the fourth at CMU. Number 16 Pioneers versus number 6 Central Methodist. Fouled it off. This series is basically for the conference. You would assume that both teams will win the majority of their remaining games and they're tied in the loss column. Slashed foul. Wow. 
all the way. Two two. Little pop up, gotta get there. Stokes. Pioneers suddenly trailing in this one. For the statesman at the top of the fourth, one run on two hits. No error. Ellie Van Lanker leads off the bottom of the fourth, takes an off-speed pitch for a strike. It's 0-1. This is away, one and two. Into center field, fairly deep. She goes back to the track and makes the catch a few steps shy of the fence. One away. Designated player, number 12, Emma Jones. <clears throat> Emma Jones hitting 273, a couple of doubles. Nice catch up against the fence. I wonder if camera three got that. Shortstop number six, Dez Duncan. Dez Duncan now with two outs. Hit her out of the box. She's out. Yeah. 
for the Pioneers in the bottom of the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors. And after four complete innings, Statesman lead three to two. For the statesman designated player. Very early ten, exit for Chelsea Jonico Huff. as Hannah Etzel takes over in the circle. Jonico has 10 complete games. Even, even her losses are generally complete games. Etzel to face 3 4 5. This is Huff. Etzel is 1 and 1. This is her seventh appearance. She has a 6 11 ERA. Eighteen and a third innings pitched, thirty-one hits, fourteen strikeouts. Opponents hitting three seventy-eight. Huff hitting three thirty-eight. A couple of homers. Was that last year or two years ago that William Penn hit a grand slam in the top of the seventh? To I think they took the lead with that. Like it was legit. Like down three, full count. Grounded to short. Duncan has to be quick, and she is. Second base, number seven, Nayeli Martinez. Nayeli Martinez, the four hole. So you regulars have noticed that I keep wanting to get away from this angle here because it's just obstructed and I don't like it. 2-0. and oh. I keep saying I'm going to pin a camera to that cross beam right there and pull the net back and shoot through it. I just keep not doing it. Into shallow center hanger. Naranjo. Left field, number four, Peyton Naranjo. Doesn't that mean orange in Spanish? Orange tree. I was right. That's into center field. Hangers right there. Good inning from Etzel. Pioneers need to tie it up here. Top of the order due up in the bottom of the fifth.
field number 19, Cordelia Hanger. One, two, three, do up for the Pioneers. <laughs> Hanger, Brooks, and Brown. Hanger's two for two. CMU has scored three runs. And lead five to two late in that game three. Grounded to second. One away. Left field number 24, Maddie Brooks. <clears throat> Maddie Brooks is over two, the run scored. <coughs> Sorry. Little tapper towards second. I don't think they have a chance at her. Base hit. They did have a chance. Right field number one, Naya Brown. <laughs> Brown is 0 for 2 with an RBI. And it's bunted to the pitcher. She couldn't find it for a second. I, I guess that's a sacrifice. I don't like giving those with one out, but I think I'm going to. Second base, number 20. Kelly Stokes. <clears throat> Stokes is one for two. Down the line, foul. Two strikes, two outs. Tying run at second. Didn't mean to hit that button. Let's try that again. I think an off-speed pitch in will go over the scoreboard. A little out in front of it.
one to Warren, the six hole. That was a funky pitch. So you haven't heard about Clark's broken ankle? <laughs> nope, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. The announcer jinx right there. <laughs> Speaking of that, that kid from Houston last night, that was brutal. That cost him the game, I thought. I love that guy. What, uh, was that in the second half? It was early. Threw her out of first. Let's see if first, single to right. First base, number 12, Alex Price. Seven hole Price. Looks like Coach wants to do a pinch runner at first. That's number 11. Stewart. Running at first base, number 11, Allison Stewart. Two and another two one called strike two. Got her looking. She thought so. <laughs> I did that once. I want to say it was a 2-2 two -two count. Ouch. That's a big difference, isn't it? My buddy's, or my teammate's dad was the umpire that day. And it was a 2-2 pitch, and a curveball just snapped right over the middle of the plate, and I started walking That's to the dugout. Six, Zoe Jones. He called it ball three, and I stepped back in the box and went, thank you. And he's like, no, no, that messed up. Like, <laughs> no, it didn't. Nice play, back throw. One away, two runners in scoring position. Hitter number 21. Now batting for the Tracy. Tracy. Number 21, Madison Tracy. Madison Tracy is also a pitcher. She has a handful of innings pitched, but at the plate, Madison. A new way to spell Madison. I didn't. I thought they were out. Fouled away. 0-1. Yeah. She's uh, one for eight on the season, hitting 125. M A D I S Y N. Nice 
smother from Van Lanker. I was thinking about this recently. I think this is year 17 for me. So I've seen tons of catchers come through here. And we've had a lot of great defensive catchers, but hardly any offensive catchers. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Van Lanker's our best all around. She's right there defensively with anybody we've had. She can chuck, she can throw it, chuck it. I was going to say she can chuck it like people say that anymore. Throws people out stealing. Full count. And she can swing it. She's got a, more homers than any other catcher I can think of. Single season and career. I'm going to go ahead and claim it. She's the best catcher I've seen all around in my time here. Full count, one out. A walk isn't horrible here, but a strikeout is delightful. Third base, number 18, Layla Smith. Layla Smith, back to the top of the order. She's two for three. She made an out on the first pitch of the game. That was when my streaming decided to quit, so I don't know if we'll ever see it again. But two and zero oh. again. You don't have to give in here. You can walk her if you want to, if you must. No sense in just piping one right here. The 2-0. Backhanded stab by Todd. Woo! Show you that again. She can pick it over there at third. No errors, two runners left. And after five and a half innings, William Penn three, MNU two. Beauty. Pioneers have two more chances on offense. Abby Schulte leads off. I can't tell who's in right. Hammers that foul down the left field line. 0 oh, 1. That does look like an 11 out there. Okay. Stewart stays in the game in right field, and shortstop re-enters. I can't remember her name. It's a funky one. Chopped foul. Gejuzis. I forgot what it was. That can't be right.
Two balls, two strikes to Abby Schulte. That misses up, full count. Pioneer offense has really struggled in the last handful of games. Hardly any slug. We need Schulte to drop a bomb right here and tie this game. It's up the middle. That'll work. Not quite a bomb, but good things. Their base number 10, Robin Todd. We're going to run at first with Maddie Soman. Running at first base for the Pioneers, number two, Maddie Soman. Runner goes, Soman didn't get a great jump, but the throw wasn't there. And it's ball one. Brent Olmo and Bryson Sherwood just went back to back. It's five to four CMU now over at baseball. Top six. There's a strike to Todd. One and one. Into right field, fairly deep. Soman is tagging up. She's heading to third. Soman heading to the plate, the throw, not in time. We are tied at three on the RBI double from Robin Todd. Van Lanker. That's into right center. That is down. Todd heads to third and will score. Van Lanker heads to second. The Pioneers have taken the lead. Number 12, Emma Jones. The, the Penn coach is arguing something. And check with your buddy out there and tell me some good news. Maybe a missed base, possibly. I can't think of anything. Um, let's show the replays. Here is Todd's. Umpire is saying to the coach, he's shaking his head like, I don't see what you're talking about, whatever it is, so... She was pointing out the runner at second like she went she went back to touch second, which is fine. I don't, I don't understand. I'd like to. She's pointing at second. Let's look at Van Lanker if she, t she touched first. Everyone's touching bases just fine. Let's go. Did camera three get anything or was it reloading? 
Oh, we got a little something here. <laughs> it's a great shot. Camera 3 struggling right now. It keeps cutting out on me. No idea. New pitcher. Back to the starting pitcher. Bryant. Little tapper towards third foul. Gets away. Runners move up. Three. Not too much going on. Little flare into shallow right. That gets down. Here comes Van Lanker. Here comes Jones. Duncan slams on the brakes and heads back to second. Another double, and the Pioneers lead six to three. Still nobody out. I got no picture from you. Well, 
One ball, two strikes to Hanger. Fouled off in the box. Another foul ball. <laughs> Hanger battling Bryant, flared into left. One away. Field number 24, mm -hmm. Manny Brooks. <laughs> Line drive into center field. Two down. We got camera three back. Right field number one. Good look at Naya Brown. Brown. Grounded to second. Pioneers do damage. It's six to three. Right now. For the Pioneers in the bottom of the six, four runs on four hits, no errors, one runner left. And after six complete innings, Pioneers six, Statesman three. Pioneers looking to close this out. First pitch hits her. I don't know what that pitch was, but it was brutal. Two and zero to Huff the three hole. There's one. Five four. It's away. Sorry, I didn't switch it. FC. 
five. Five four. Second base number seven, Nayeli Martinez. Martinez now the four hole. Called strike one. What am I supposed to say? You said enough by trying to stay cold and then you start to know. I mean, so I got it. I looked at it and go, what does this mean? I don't know. Did I get it? I got it that it had nothing to do with the rest of the message. That's what I got. I'm glad he's your best friend. Into left field, that's down. Tying run comes to the plate. Come on, girls. Turn two, let's go. Left field number four, Peyton Naranjo. Peyton Naranjo. Two and Into right field. Base is loaded. Tying run aboard now. So last year or two years ago, I can't remember, in this situation, William Penn went deep. Let's see if we can prevent that this time. I'll tell you, our outfield should be deep. Nothing can get by to it all that tying run. But all three are pretty shallow. Two zero, to deep short. Duncan takes the out herself, and there are two outs and a run in. First base number twelve, Alex Price. Why is this play sequence not valid? What are you talking about? She's out of third. Oh, that's not a... Got it. I got it. Grounded to third. Ball game. Sorry, I was trying to fix my stats. I screwed something up. Oh, come on, Jenkins. Figure it out. For William Penn in the top of the seventh, one run on two hits. No errors. Two runners left. And the Pioneers win game one. Game two should begin in approximately 25 minutes. Pioneer fans, we do have some Pioneer gear over here. Bring the green stadium. battery with if power like cord check quickly. That out between games. And early in game two, we will be recognizing our 2024 Pioneer power cord might be in the Jeep. Commits. 